Let's get started with animation. Hi folks, we're in spring 2020 and uh, if you watch this tutorial years later you probably won't remember what happened in the early 2020s. It's uh, the uh, coronavirus which basically covers the whole planet and makes such strange things like uh, there's a US president who's called Donald Trump who says uh, all flights from Europe are uh, banned. Uh, but uh, the UK people can fly over there. It's a, it's a diplomatic and um, medical and whatever really interesting time. And um, I don't want to make jokes about it, but uh, we will talk about topology here because the virus is quite interesting in terms of topology. Now here, for example, in the Wikipedia, this is a representation. It's an illustration. The virus doesn't look like that, but it's a nice... Uh, illustration it has rich texture and it has all these coroner uh, sort of uh, bumps here. This is a, the more scientific view here. It's an electron micrograph um, made in the Rocky Mountain laboratories and uh, it's in the public domain and it was isolated from a patient in the US. And uh, here you see that we have sort of irregular structures, more and less and uh, they're distributed all over that surface. The colors are not r the real com colors, of course, because in an electron micrograph you have uh, fake colors. You, you have to imagine certain colors. And, uh, but this is quite interesting and we'll stick to more or less this. It gives us an interesting way to talk about topology and I'll start with an example which totally fails. Then I continue with an example, an approach basically, which uh, sort of works. And uh, then we finally find a solution, <laughs> hopefully. And you can go from there. Of course, there's uh, many more things to, to this. For example, texturing. And we're not going to talk about texturing. You can uh, make them collide and uh, interact with uh, lung cells, for example. But this is not, uh, this would be too far reached here. So we just start with a modeling topology tutorial. This is Maya. And uh, if you're interested in, to ch in changing the background here from this light blue to the dark here for example you go to windows and uh, in the settings preferences you see the color settings and in the color settings you can open the 3d views and here's the gradient very simple the gradient top is a more gray color and the gradient button is a more light blue color if you change this to a darker blue it looks like this but I quite like this Okay, now we start with the failed approach. Curves, surfaces, we want to do it in the NURBS world. So let's go to the side view and create, or this the front view, doesn't matter, and we create a circle. Now the circle sits here flat on the ground, so we press and hold J in order to snap this. That's a 90 degree uh, thing now and we scale it up like this. Now when we press F8 we see the components and here you see that we don't have many dots really so we can see the points better so we have a geometry which is just too simple. So we go back here and in the make NURB circle we can set the sections from 8 to for example 60. When we press F8 now we have lots of more dots here. We could also rebuild that surface. Now what I want to just try to show you, we'll make those coronal objects now. And uh, what I'll do is I just select a few of these points here every third or so. You can do this in a more precise way if you like. I just want to show you the principle here. And uh, now I scale them out like this. Now I have more or less such kind of dots. We always have the problem that they should be bigger at the top and that they should be slimmer right here. But you see the basic idea here. Now how do we get a geometry from, from this? Uh, I mean a three-dimensional geometry. So we press F8 again and um, we make what is called a revolve. We revolve that surface and that's what we get. You see it leads to nothing. 
it's uh, not manageable with NURBS topology. So the NURBS just fail. That was the first attempt. So Alt B to get a nice background color like this. And now we go to the polygon world. And when you create a sphere, which would be a typical start here, and select a few of these dots here, just give you an example of these dots here up there, one or two, not three, and one here, and that one. When you extrude them now using this icon here, you get these things, which are quite interesting already. But what you can see now is uh, they are of totally different topology. These ones have four starting points here, whereas this one has many more because it's at the top. This one is much thinner than these ones. That's because of the topology of that sphere, because it has smaller faces up here. So if we want to have a distribution here of, um, we can reduce the length 0 0.5, so we have them shorter. If we want to have a distribution here which uh, is equal from this has the same size as this one and topology as this one we need to change the approach again so right mouse click and delete that object i just recommend you to use a soccer ball why a soccer ball because it doesn't have a north and south pole it's just evenly distributed and if we for example select all the vertices now and use that command here, we get quite an interesting object. Let's reduce this again, 0 0.5, so we have a smaller one. If you repeat that process, the extrude, you can actually create something more wide at the top. But this is a good approach for polygon modeling. Now I show you how I would approach it. And uh, it starts with that object here. We'll model this object here, this part here, separately from the geometry. And we do this in, in a NURBS world again. So uh, let's go here and create, I use this tool now, and I snap to the grid by pressing and holding X. So the first dot is here. Then the second one here, that's again with X. I snap to the grid again and press enter. Now the curve is ready and I already see that I have a problem up here. So I press F8 in order to see all the dots and I move this one over here. And with the cursor keys, I can move from one point to another. And then I have this selection. Go to object mode. And now I do a revolve. Now the elegance of NURBS modeling is that you can use the history. And um, if I want these two, for example, lower down, I just move them down like this and the, the topology of the whole surface follows. Now if you select this one here and move it inside, you get a more pro pronounced modeling here. It sort of resembles the corona. Now we'll modify it, convert it to a polygon. Let's briefly meditate um, on this menu. Modify, down here is convert, and the top entry is NURBS to polygon. It's the top entry because it's so prominent. You use it many times in when you do modeling tasks. And uh, the reason why we uh, convert it to polygons is uh, that we'll finalize this tutorial with a mesh network and mesh enjoys. It does not necessarily need polygon objects, but uh, it's easier to use polygon objects. So we need the object box here because, uh, and this is the, 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 the thing I want to point you, the default settings are set to triangles, but we want quads. Why do we want quads? Well, most of these so, uh, sections here are quads. They have four edges and not three. So we apply this now 
and close that window and we hide the NURBS surface. So this is a polygon surface now and it's actually a little bit over complex because we'll have many of them and uh, nobody will actually concentrate on details like down here. So we go to the modeling menu set and under mesh you find reduce. So we just reduce this and I think this is good. We can delete the NURBS surface and the curve. Create a new shader. Right mouse click new material Arnold standard surface shader and this is all up to our fantasy here. Maybe a greenish or a yellowish or orange look. So this is our mushroom. One thing I always like to do before I switch over to the mesh uh, network is to do two things, modify and uh, freeze the transformation. That means I set all the uh, parameters here of translation and rotation to zero and the scale scaling to one. Now the second thing is, and I go to the side window here, uh, is I want to set the pivot to the to the bottom. So I press the insert key now and the pivot is already there. So I can press insert again. If you don't have it down there, put it down there. Now we go to FX and under FX we find mesh. And we create a mesh network and we use the option box here. Uh, these are the default settings I guess, yes. Um, and uh, we, we stick to the default settings. We apply that and close it. What we have now in the scene is eight same objects. They are basically not objects, they're instances. This is the power of mesh really. And uh, we don't want them in a row. So we go to mesh distribute. If you don't have this window part here open, press control A. That opens the attribute editor, the attribute editor. Okay, here we have a distribution type and we set it from linear to spherical. And now the dots are placed on a sphere. And if we have many more like this, pointing straight up, which is fair enough, but we, use, we need something completely different. We go to the hidden original here. We don't see it. We could make it visible again, but we can select it and scale it down. So we have smaller objects now. That's the that's one way to scale them down. And the second thing is we want them to be distributed on, well, something round. And for that purpose, we use the soccer ball again. And we scale it up and we give it a new material. Actually, these colors are horrible. And now comes the beautiful mesh trick here. Very simple indeed. We have a distribution which looks pretty horrible now, but uh, we can go to the mesh distribute node here and change it from spherical where we just came from. We started with linear, so they're sitting there. We went to spherical, so they're sitting there. And now we go to mesh. That means we want to distribute our objects on a mesh and the mesh is the soccer ball. Mash, M-A-S-H, that is, asks us to put an input mesh here. It's not connected, there's nothing here. Now you need the middle mouse button and uh, don't select anything else, just drag this P solid, that's the soccer ball, with the middle mouse button in here. And ta-ta, now you have a distribution which you probably like. You can change it from scatter to vertex. Nice, isn't it? Or to face center. You can uh, add a, a random node here, which is, I'm not going to show you that, I just point you to that. It's right here. Here you can make the distribution more or less random like. And I want to finalize this by showing you how to convert this back into the polygon world because currently if you select this one you select all of them and they're not polygons they are mesh repro mesh bring them back into the polygon world and that's 
how you go about this. Go to Mesh and here you have Utilities. And under Utilities you have Bake Instancer to Objects. That's what we'll eventually need. If you do this you get an error message down there because we don't have an Instancer selected. I don't want to talk about the Instancer. I talked about the Instancer a lot in past tutorials about Mesh. Uh, the thing that is very simple. You need to go back to Utilities and switch the Mesh Geometry Type because there are two Mesh Geometry Types and one is the one we currently have and the other one is the Instancer. Forget about what it's about. Um, just switch it over to the other Geometry Type, Mesh Utilities and switch Mesh Geometry Type. And now successfully switch to Particle Instancer well, okay, we have an instancer now, and then we go back to the utilities here and we bake the instancer to objects. And now we can leave this as it is, bake this frame. We don't have an animation here. We could bake an animation, but we just do this. And now we're basically done. We have a group here with all the mushrooms here, and we have our solid here. So if you want to have some irregularity, you can basically scale this a little bit up or go to the vertices and drag them down a little bit. So you have slight irregularities here. You can um, do all kinds of things. So it's slightly different here. Now you can delete the history and this is all which remains and then you have a clean scene from where you can start working in different directions now. For example, making this a soft body so it wobbles around a little bit. Just to wrap this up, we started with NURBS modeling which totally failed. Then we continued with a sphere and the sphere sort of failed because it's it has a north and south pole. Then we did the soccer ball approach which was already leading into the proper direction but the final solution was modeling these mushrooms here. You can model them in, in the polygon world or we did it with an ERPS curve which is very elegant, converted them to polygons, then to a mesh network, distributed on them on this sphere here which is a soccer ball again, deleted all the history and combined all the objects together so they are one object now. And if you watch this much later, the year 2020 was the corona year. Bye bye.